what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so our first week of filming is done for the scream relaunch that we're going to be getting from spyglass media radio silence the first week of filming is done and it didn't take long for the pandemic to already affect the production of this film the pandemic has already affected it Marley Sheldon can't keep her mouth closed regarding a certain surprise if it's true you saw it in the thumbnail uh, and then now we know exactly who uh, Sonya is going to be portraying in the upcoming screen project so or at least we have a clear indication of it based off of the character description we've had disclosed over the summer and what we saw recently from the cast members hanging out together so getting into things it looks like production went smoothly this week. We filmed, they filmed at that at that house we all were aware of from Mon from Tuesday through Friday yesterday, and things seem to be going well as you see here on screen. Uh, a lot of people from Instagram shared footage of them filming outside at that house, and we see from a lot of the things that have been shared, they are filming at a house that is eerily similar to Casey Becker's house. We know we have Melissa Barrera. She posted some things in her trailer, arriving on set, getting settled in. And it was just like, all of this was just very surreal for us as, as fans because we've been dying to see a new Scream movie. I personally cannot wait to see it. And the pandemic has unfortunately struck the set already. So recently, three crew members have tested positive for the virus and the protocols that are in place luckily are not going to affect production as you see here the screen set has like all production in recent weeks implemented rigorous COVID-19 protocols to keep cast and crew safe while filming with masks required on set and crew getting tested as many as three times a week depending on their interaction with the set to further ensure COVID-19 doesn't spread should crew members test positive they are also broken up on set based on their job and proximity to filming therefore every crew member is not interacting with each other on set so based off of that we know we know that and that's why filming will resume on monday despite everything and as you saw here in that short clip we had our cast members who are now hanging out with each other and i don't know if you saw sonia in the background there she has like pink streaks in her hair and based off of the character descriptions we know that Layla has been described as an 18 year old girl with pink hair of sorts and she's going to be Cal's boyfriend or Cal's girlfriend rather played by we've all assumed it's going to be Mason Gooding who's playing Cal you know that's the twin brother of Maude so we know that she's going to be portraying that character and we have more set images here of trucks arriving on on set at that house to get started to get loaded up and prepared or unload and prepared to shoot this opening scene it looks like jenna ortega was featured on the set today or this week we saw a glimpse of her or what we thought was her because the picture was blurry she was on set filming with a mask on being very safe as she should and yeah it's just looking like everything went smoothly this week it's just that three crew members unfortunately came down with positive tests for the virus and luckily they weren't that they weren't around the main cast or anything like that when this occurred so they're based off of their roles on set it's not something that would lead to the production being halted because they're going to keep on filming this movie starting monday at that school that we know they're going to be filming at. and then they're going to move on to the bowling alley or whatever whatever else they're going to do what I did find interesting was how no one posted anything over social media of Ghostface on set. That was the one thing that struck me as odd. We didn't see anything of Ghostface. So I'm like, what were they doing at that house? What all did they shoot? Because I know we're, it looks like based off of what we saw them do and what you saw as like a caption, they were filming a close up of the door to the house. So and we saw a lot like a lot of fog and everything. In the, in the area, they're, they're using a fog machine, they're using a lot of fog around that house, very much giving us vibes of Casey, Casey Becker coming off as if we're trying to go back to that old, or, or callback to the original opening kill, paying homage to it, and just being a callback to it in general. It's just like so many different things people took note of. There was a swing hanging outside, very similar to Casey Becker yet again, but Jenna Ortega was on set at this house, it looks like. You know, we have here an image of the police car for Woodsboro. You, you, notice you don't see Woodsboro on it. So you have to wonder, is is the town going to be called Parkside? Is that why is that why Parkside is a thing associated with this project? Because usually 
when you have working titles, they have most of the ones I'm aware of. The working title did end up having a connection to a lot of the movies that I'm aware of with working titles. And I think Parkside will be the new name for Woodsboro. Here you see the fog machine. So, but getting back to what I want to say about Jenna, Jenna was the one who appeared on set. She was the one, the first cast member we saw on set actually getting instructed and told to do certain things so like she looked like she was filming scenes for her character now in the audition tapes if you've seen them the audition tapes for annie annie does mention and if you don't want to go into any spoilers whatsoever you might as well turn the video off i don't consider this a spoiler if we've all seen the audition tapes in the audition tapes annie starts talking about um sarah sarah who we know is Teresa's sister and Teresa is apparently going to get attacked by ghostface that sounds like what's going to spark sarah to return to her hometown because notice it says a series of heinous crimes it doesn't necessarily say a murder or something brought her back so i would assume that they're going to subvert our expectations and the opening of screen five will not be selena gomez i still think selena gomez will be in it somewhere she might be the cc kill but we're going to get an opening attack instead of an opening kill with jenna ortega and that's going to be subverting our expectation because now you're going to expect jenna to die but she's not going to die she's going to survive that's just something I gathered from the audition tapes and something I could see happening. And then getting into Marley Shelton, who seemingly spoiled something, if they go through with it. She posted her excitement about Screen 5 starting production on Instagram. But look at what she, like, go through the names she tagged. One of the names is Skeet Ulrich. Fans of the franchise, you guys, I know you're fans. Skeet Ulrich pay, played Billy Loomis. So, like, why are you tagging Skeet Ulrich? She quickly reversed that decision, though. She edited it and she corrected some things and Skeet Ulrich's name was removed. Very interesting, though, seeing as how Skeet Ulrich, though, he put up stuff saying that he was back on set. But he did have like chairs he was sitting on that had FP or PF, whatever his name, his character name from Riverdale, because I stopped watching that show after season one. It started going downhill. But Billy Loomis, as far as I know, I'm sure as far as you guys are concerned with he's dead i don't see him coming back if he's going to be brought back I, as, in terms of the actor and portraying his character again it's going to be some type of hallucination some type of vision of something like like i've been talking about these these characters could easily come back just not back from the dead you can still use them we could get like a vision of some sort of Sydney imagining what her life could have been like had billy and Stu not have done what they did had things gone differently like that's the only way i could see skeet ulrich reprising his role as billy loomis that's literally the only way i see this happening otherwise i don't really see what marley shelton was was doing there she might have spoiled a big a big surprise and if she did spoil something i'm sure she got an earful when she came on set so uh that was yeah just very odd for her to tag skeet ulrich and then quickly delete it it's like cause if you're quickly deleting it for one maybe he's not involved in the project but then two you had to quickly delete it because you just messed up you just you just leaked something possibly so i know i've made videos about stating judy hicks dated Stu mocker and how they probably had a thing prior to him actually being with tatum and it was an off and on thing because he would end up going back to her and then i mentioned a child being involved in abortion and then she found out later that Stu had a younger brother they teamed up and then that's what my whole theory was with judy hicks and a lot of you guys liked that actually i still can't believe how many of you guys liked it I've, a lot of you said it was just very cohesive it made a lot of sense so i appreciated that warm reception that I, that theory got uh judy hicks being the killer is something that i could i could see happening tying her into something possibly from the original film maybe she dated billy loomis instead and maybe they had a maybe they had some type of relationship in between what happened with him killing you know sydney's mother and then still sticking with sydney but he was sleeping around with other women because i have a theory if you follow me on twitter i have a a very good theory of what is actually is going to happen this is i because even though I know certain things, I don't know the whole narrative. I don't know the whole narrative. So based off of what I've known or what I know, I've put together a an entire narrative of what I would like to see unfold in Screen 5 when the killer is revealed and what backstory I would like to see play out and what the killer's motivations would be mixed in with a lot of other stuff. But I don't know what Marley Shelton was thinking when she did that. Um, 
I hope she didn't slip up and leak something because I'm sure she got an earful. If she did, we're, we're, we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But Judy Hicks being the killer, Billy Loomis coming back, that's a definite no. Judy Hicks being the killer, though, I'm all for that. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section below. Are you excited for next week for filming to kick off again? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.